What is to live in total victory? Does God want you to live in a total victory of life in every area that you live in? What does it take to live such a life? What does the Bible say that we should do in order for us to experience this powerful life in total victory? There are things that happen that bring us into bondages. And this is what I want to begin to explain before I give you the keys of how to live in total victory according to God's way. Many times when we make wrong choices, bad decisions, when we sin against the word of God, when we disobey what the commandment of the Lord Jesus Christ have ordained us to do, then there is a violation. And with every violation, there is a consequence. That's what happened in the Garden of Eden, back in Genesis chapter three, when the serpent tempted Eve and she ate of the fruit. She disobeyed the word of God, including her husband, Adam, and they both, and up to today, became the slaves of sin and the slaves of Satan. But God has sent his son, Jesus Christ, to be able to bring us out of that situation and that we would be able to live in totality of victory and liberty. What are some of the things that bring us to such life of liberty? Let me just read very quickly from the book of 2 Corinthians. And this is what it says. In 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17, it says, Now the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is victory. I want you to know that it begins with the spirit of God. Victory and liberty is connected to the Lord Jesus. There is no true liberty in this life without Jesus. I want you to know, you that are watching me, that it is God's will for you to be filled with His Spirit, with His power, with His presence, so that you can live a life of victory. He says it right in the Gospel. He says it right in the Scripture. In 2 Corinthians 3, verse 17, he says, Now the Lord is that Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Let me take you back to a very powerful statement that God declared when He created you and I, meaning mankind. And that is found in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Listen to what it says concerning the connection of how God wants you to live in total victory. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, he says, And God said, Let us make man in our image, in our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowls of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth around the earth. He says, let us give him dominion. What does the word dominion has to do with living in liberty? What does the word dominion has to do with the image of God, with the likeness of God? Well, he has to do everything because the word dominion, let me share with you what is the original understanding, the original meaning of the word dominion in this scripture. The word dominion comes from the Hebrew word meaning raga, R-A-G-A, raga. And what it means is to tread down, 
is to take control of something that is hostile. It is to take over something that would not want to submit to you. How do we live in total victory? How do we live in that life? Number one, you need to be filled with God's knowledge. Number two, you need to be saved by the Spirit of God. Number three, you need to be filled by the power of the Spirit of God. Number four, you need to walk in the knowledge and leading and guidance of the Holy Spirit. And number five, you need to believe that God has promised you liberty through His Son, Jesus Christ. This is what God's will is for you and for me to live in total liberty. I pray for you that as of today, whatever wanted to keep you back in bondage, restricting you in limitation by the power of Jesus Christ, I break it right now. Receive your liberation. Receive your deliverance because it is the will of God for you and your children and your family to live in total liberty. God bless you.